Hello, hello, and a wonderful day to you. I really, really hope that you're having an impassive day that is as good as mine, if not better. Recently, we've been hearing quite a bit about mindset. And this started uh, many moons ago when Mr. Mufara began using his voice, speaking to his mountains in a way, to purge negativity from the paradigm shift that is on passive and the forces operating within our business model. That's because he fully understands the power of the mind, of our thoughts, right? Which lead to emotion and action. And uh, that's some pretty powerful stuff. So it's for this reason that other on passive leaders have also been talking about mindset. It's because we know that the right mindset leads to right living. I mean, everybody knows that, right? And that leads to joy, to fulfillment, and ultimately to lifting humanity. So that's the path that we want to be on. Now, a mindset is a series of self-professed uh, perceptions or uh, beliefs that help people uh, understand themselves more. And uh, it's beliefs about themselves. And these determine our behavior, our outlook, you know, the mental attitude, that sort of thing. Mindset is the result of our beliefs, which were formed and are continually formed by our physical experiences. This is to say that our mindset has its origin in 3D, you know, worldly physical reality. And it's usually filled, no, it always is filled with, you know, mythical fancies and prejudices and misconceptions and resentments and uh, buried memories from the past and, you know, hurts of all kinds and those sorts of things, you know, all the daily habitual habits of dealing with the ups and downs of life that we all face. Now, these beliefs govern everything that we live out. Relationships, experiences, successes, failures, uh, happiness, uh, <laughs> misery. Yeah, even misery, right? Um, it's even responsible for bad things like sickness and disease, accidents. Nothing happens by chance. Everything is woven into the fabric of life through the threads or from the threads of our personal consciousness uh, in a way, right? Our thoughts, expectations, life beliefs, uh, ideas of fate, spirituality, uh, everything. And we bring all this about as we struggle um, and continually find ourselves uh, in the throes of life because everything that I've mentioned, we all bring out through the thought process. So this is to say that our ability to create new environment and circumstances, relationships, you know, achievement, failure, prosperity, poverty, you know, the, uh, the duplicity that we see in, in life, you know, the the ups and downs, the uh, the back and forth, you know, all, all the, the things that we experience, right? Uh, these things here, um, I guess what we're saying is that whether you or me, uh, you know, humankind, all of us, whatever we profoundly believe we are, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, that is exactly what we're going to become. And concerning bad things, Whatever we might fear or think others are going to do to us, right? We think about it hard enough, that's exactly what they're going to do. We're going to draw those things to us in our experience like a cosmic magnet, if you will. Now, concerning the good things, same thing. Whatever we hope for or want, you know, whatever we hope that others will do for us, well, we need to do those first to them. Because when we're doing that, it's going to draw those like things right back to us, right? Now, this is to say that uh, that is the great law of sowing and reaping that we all know. And it's in action, right? That's the action of it right there. It's just by us doing what we want others to do with and for us, then we're drawing that back into it. And this, we're creating a pattern of consciousness that returns to bless us, right, to an extent that we've blessed others. And it doesn't matter how big or how small that blessing is. If we put it out, it's going to come back. Now, Mr. Ufara and like-minded leadership in general want us to all have that consciousness pattern, one that has to be developed and one that returns to us lasting blessings. Now, incidentally, this can happen inside or outside of unpassing. Doesn't matter. It's a life principle. And if we fear strongly enough that disease or 
on the other side of that, if we want health, you know, for that matter, uh, strongly enough, it's going to overcome us. We're going to get it. We'll experience it because we've created a consciousness pattern for it, right? Whatever we send out from our heart and mind is going to make it way back to us in one form or another. Now, it might take seconds or it might take years, but we do reap what we sow. So those emotionally charged thoughts become seeds of consciousness planted in our consciousness. And whatever seeds we plant, we're going to reap the fruits of. Now, there's no way for us to escape that, to escape what we think or do or say, because we're born out of, right? We are being drawn from that divine creative consciousness power. So if we want to get good things, then we need to put good things out. And I don't mean just donating to the local food pantry or, you know, giving 10% of your income to, you know, your church or charity. Uh, that's not what we're talking about. But that could help. But whatever we put out, it also includes thoughts, words, emotions, action, right? Whatever we're doing creates a thought. And that subtle energy goes out in, as a field, you know, as a wave. But concerning on passive and life in general, here's where the road uh, gets a, a little worn. Or maybe this is, uh, well, a better way to put it, this is where the rubber meets the road so to speak, right? Because normally, because this whole process is a creative learning process that takes time, going from lack to abundance or from despised to loved or from fragmentation to wholeness or even illness to health happens relatively slowly, but not always. When it happens very quickly, like maybe winning the lottery, for example, you know, for example, then that newly found abundance wasn't the result of a change in the thought process, a change in thinking. So the recipient, more often than not, squanders the gain that they have and ends up worse off than they were before they got the gain, simply because a sudden change in abundance was not accompanied by, or it wasn't the result of, at least, a prerequisite change in the mindset in the thinking and those who have read scripture scripture excuse me may recall jesus talking and and doing healing and he would tell the folks that he healed afterwards you know quote unquote he'd say go and sin no more now this was because he knew the recipient of the healing and developed that wholeness or wellness thinking mindset or lifestyle and without it the previous condition could and more than likely would come back to them. So on passive doesn't want that happening to us. We don't want lives being destroyed or plunged into hardship by the very abundance intended to bring us joy and fulfillment. That's why we're all trying to say, hey, get the right mindset. Let's move forward, right? Get our minds off ourselves, get it on others, you know, help people, lift people up, that sort of thing. So the question becomes, what are we going to do with what's coming? Because there is a flood of abundance and opportunity that's coming our way as a result of what on passive is doing. And our mindset is going to determine what we do with it, right? What we do with our lives. So on passive and its members right now are capable of lifting humanity through compassion and action. Um, it's actually a new business model in a new energy for a new era. Right? And more companies um, are, are rising up that are embracing this connectedness and mutual benefit uh, modeling, so to speak, like on passive, and they're on the rise. And I'm going to be talking to at least one of them in conjunction with my aspirations for Obless once Obless becomes available. Right? Now, if you've got aspirations for Obless, I would love to hear about them. Additionally, I've got access to some uh, pending founder positions from January and February of 2020. And please comment below or email directly to me concerning either those accounts or those aspirations that you have for Obless. Uh, I would like to do some videos with people if I have some time, you know, kind of outlining their aspirations. I did one uh, with Key a little bit ago. And I have contacted some other founders and they're interested in having 
uh, some old bless aspirational videos done as well. So um, drop me a, drop me a line, you know, send me an email or something. Uh, if you're on Facebook, I, I've got an account out there somewhere. I have no idea how to access it. Don't have a clue. And I thought I deleted them all, so I, I, I'm not on Facebook. But if you can drop me a line here in the comment section below or send me an email directly to me, I'd certainly appreciate that. Uh, regarding either one of those two items but regardless our mindset is everything and from it the substance and quality of our life flows out right so let's get in mind that we need to stay in our minds and we need to understand that as we think we will become so if we start thinking about others and doing good and having great thoughts about doing good for others that is all going to come back to us and that's exactly what on passive and the on passive leadership wants for each and every one of us and all of the members as we move forward into this great company that we call on passive thank you so much for listening to this i certainly appreciate that and please know that we wish only blessing and blessing upon you and upon your entire family thank you